morning, brothers and sisters. Brother Will here. Before we go any further, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. You're going to want to stay with this video to the end, brothers and sisters. This is the most compelling video I've ever made. Um, and I, I want to read the scripture before we go any further because it really sums up um, my entire ministry, really. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excell excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much troubling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. Um, the reason I bring that up is because you'll know that I, I never make videos unless um, I feel compelled by the Holy Spirit, whether through a dream or a vision or a word that he's given me or some revelation about a scripture. A um, couple of examples of those for those of you who haven't maybe followed the entire channel, but going back uh, during lockdowns when I got the uh, two words spoken by the Holy Spirit, Caesar Cipher, sent us on an entire journey, right, to uncover the letters D-C-O-V-I. And what those meant to the Apostle John as re with regard to the Roman numerals and the Greek alphabet. Um, also, back in 2020, I believe it was September 19th, um, I got that audible word from the Lord, which was, These people cry out and lament over fallible mortals. Would they had such passion for me? And then it goes on and on. But um, the point is, is that was exactly two years to the day um, before the whole world was mourning Queen Elizabeth. Okay? Um, several of these, okay, some uh, actual visions that I've gotten that uh, we've talked about that have come filled as well. Um, so I always, my, the entire basis of my, my ministry is what the Holy Spirit leads me to share with you guys. Um, I'm going to turn myself off so that we can get down to business because, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say anymore. Here we go. All right. So you'll remember with my last video, uh, we talked about 1450 in the clouds and uh, I should, I should also say actually, um, this video is a culmination of so many Watchmen's work, okay? Um, Kevin that I talk about a lot, Spinebreaker. We have um, Repo Man 64 Mike, uh, Tony. We have uh, Dr. Barry, um, uh, Patrick, and Bob Barber, and Paul at Revelation 12 sign. All of these brothers, and so many, many, many more. I can't thank you enough for just how the Holy Spirit has used you all in my life and how we all... Um, it's, it's all iron sharpening iron. Amen. So with Paul from Revelation 12 sign in mind, um, 1450. So on one of his last videos, he was talking about putting in the Strong's numbers to these asteroids, right? Now we know Patrick over at Hourly Watch, when he discovered this child asteroid and, and all that it is, you know, basically pointing out to us, uh, it, it's really unlocked a lot of stuff. Okay. So, but when I was watching Paul's video, I was reminded of 1450. So I went, and you'll remember from this last video that I made, 1450 is uh, security, surety, a guarantee. And it only happens once in Scripture, and it's talking about Jesus as a surety, a guarantee, and it's in Hebrews 7.22. Um, and it, everything that I said in that last video is 100% true, because as we find with a lot of these dreams and words and visions, there's usually like a multiple fulfillment of it, like a, a dual or even triple or more fulfillment. So, um, 1450, I put it into Stellarium, and this is what I got, Remonda. We have 1450 Remonda, okay? Um, let me keep going real quick here. So, then we've got uh, Remonda. It was discovered in 1938. Interesting, because this is when the Jews were beginning to be persecuted by Hitler, and this is right before World War II, which Kevin pointed out, World War II lasted exactly six years and one day. If we take the Revelation 12 sign from September 23rd, uh, 2017, six years and one day from that, that's a very interesting count. Um, that could lead us to this September 23rd, 24th. Um, okay, let's keep going real quick, because there's a lot to get through. All right, um... What does Ramonda mean? I'm going to point your attention to down here at the bottom. Counselor. And then also wise protector. This is what really got me thinking. Because counselor, we only know of one wise counselor, right? There's one wise God and his counselor. He is the Holy Spirit. Um, okay, continuing. 
So then I put uh, Raimonda into Gematria, and we got 215. Continuing on from there, what does 215 in Gematria equal? Boom. Lord God, 215. So we have Counselor Lord God. Okay, so I'm really at this point, when I see this, really starting to think, okay, this Raimonda, we, we already know Nishimura and the you know, the man-child and all that, I'm really beginning to believe at this point that Raimonda is a, a, a type of the Holy Spirit, okay, in this asteroid, in this, in this whole picture that we're seeing in the skies, in the heavens. Um, all right, continuing, this is where it got really juicy. So when I found where Raimonda is, look at this. It's right here where all of us are looking. Okay, so this is right here where uh, Virgo and Nishimura right here, the comet. And we know the child's going to be right here. This is where we're all looking, all right? Um, keeping a little further here, going a little further. Raimonda, you may remember, or actually you probably don't because most of you weren't watching my channel when I first started out. But um, Raimonda is in Libra, and I had this vision way back in 2020 of this of these gold scales, okay? And I believe it was referring to, uh, at the time, uh, Babylon the Great, but I also now believe it absolutely is a beacon about this moment we're about to witness, okay? Um, but continuing on, we, I, I haven't even gotten to what I want to tell you yet. I'm just still building up to how we get there. Um, okay, so this shows you how close the Raimonda asteroid and the child are on September 17th, 2023. Okay, so these this upcoming Feast of Trumpets, 15th, 16th, 17th, they're all right here, okay? Um, so then I was like, Lord, let me go back and uh, see where the child and Raimonda are in other Feast of Trumpets. So I went back to, to 2017, September 23rd, and here we go. So now I'm going to take you through these real quick. So we got Raimonda, we got the child, child in Orion, and Raimonda right off of it, okay? Then we go over to 2018. We've got Interestingly, Raimonda is in Virgo's womb, seemingly, and there's the child right up there. Then we go to 2019, and we've got, this one is also very intriguing because we've got Raimonda in Scorpius, and the child up here almost as if Raimonda is protecting the child here. Um, then we go to 2018, and we've got uh, Raimonda in Capricorn and the child right here as well. Uh, right off to the right there. Go to 2021. So yeah, that's it. That was 2000. That was 2020. Then 2021. Another really interesting one here because the child is right off of here, like it's about to be consumed by Cetus, uh, the whale. And then we also have Raimonda in the horns of Taurus. This was Feast of Trumpets 2021. And then continuing on 2022. Uh, again, we've got Raimonda. Whoops, Raimonda here. And the child off here. Okay, so they're they're, and this is the thing: they do not always stay this close together. It's just on these Feast of Trumpet days they always are. Um, since the Revelation twelve sign, they've been this close. But there are times where you know Raimonda's off doing its thing, just like sitting there, like retrograding. And same with uh, the child at times. So I thought this was very intriguing. Now, um, I, let me remind you. That again, this is a culmination of everything. So the first, you know, series of seven vignette dreams that I got, where I mentioned before in several previous videos that I got the word horns come in pairs, so nineteen, ten plus four plus five, <clears throat> and that took me back in twenty twenty one to Doctor Barry's channel. That's how I discovered him because Shava Oat Exus nineteen nineteen, and all that that implied in the in the high watch date that was Shava Oat June twenty fourth, twenty twenty one. Okay. Um, so let me go ahead and show you that real quick. Uh, I know I have other things. Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, here we go. So look at this. This is where it got super juicy, okay? Because this is June 24th, 2021, Shava Oat. We have Raimonda, and we have the child Cetus right here, and Raimonda right here. Now let me back up to everything I just went through, because this, this is huge, all right? Um, but let me show you how I got here. So you go, Will, why do you have on your screen, does a crab have a head? And yes, crabs do not have heads. They have eyes and a mouth, but there's no spherical head, okay? Um, 
Then you go, Will, why do you have this thing about um, do centaurs have horns? And yes, uh, some have included wings and horns. Here we have Sagittarius, in the middle of your screen, with horns, okay? He's a centaur with horns there. Um, you're going, why are you saying all of this? Well, it's gonna, I'm going to show you in just a second. So um, now this, you might remember um, the dream that I had where... I saw this red planet, or this red, yes, I mean planet's really the only way to say it, red planet with wings, like dragon wings, coming down on the horizon, okay? And in that same dream, there was this snake coming at my face, and I broke out the fangs of the snake head, and then it became a lion. And why is that important? It's important because it lines up everything I'm about to show you. So here's the, the snake head. This is Mars. See down here at the bottom? This is Mars, red planet. These look like wings, okay? Now, this is the snake head. We broke out the fangs, and then we saw the, the cat head, okay? So that, that tells me to be looking this direction, all right? It's all going to make sense in a second. Now this, remember I had that other dream, another complete, like, months or years later, where um, I had the, the two fish and the three fish, and uh, the word spoken was, so Jonah really was swallowed by a fish, and um, I was looking down on this whole sea, and Kevin interpreted the dream, and he was like, what you're actually looking at is a sea of stars, and you're looking at it from God's perspective. So here we have the child being swallowed by Cetus, the whale, and we have the other fish here. This is also pointing to an exact moment in the skies, okay? So the, the screenshot I showed you a second ago with, with Leo and Cancer and the snake, and then this one, they're all pointing to the same moment. Now this, you go, Will, what is all this scribbling? Well... I finally did a Watchmen uh, hand-drawn scribble chart, like Repo Man, like Dr. Barry, and so many others. So I guess, I guess I've officially uh, entered into the Watchmen category with this hand scribbled chart. <laughs> um, uh, I jest. But um, so here, what do we have here? Remember, I said that crabs don't have heads. All right, keep that in mind. Oh, before I go, I'm getting ahead of myself again. Ah, let me go back. Okay, so let me show you this now. Let's talk about horns. So, the word horn that is used in Revelation 12, 3 can be a horn of animals, yes, but it could also be a symbol of the strength of the animal or a projecting extremity in a shape like a horn. So, if I were to say a crab, what is the, what is the crab's strength? You would say it's claws. What are they in the shape of? Horns, okay? So that's very important. We have also, I did more research, so here, of course, we know that Greek gods are all false gods, but mosaic art also added, so this is talking about Triton, mosaic art also added a pair of crab claw horns, okay? So this, so what I'm trying to get at is that it's not out of the ordinary for crab claws to be considered horns, okay? Um, this is, and this is all just the Holy Spirit, like, unfolding all this stuff. I did not come up with this on my own at all. Um, again, this is a culmination of lots of Watchmen and lots of Holy Spirit insight over the course of years. So what you're looking at, okay, is um, this moment on June 24th, 624-21, Shavuot, okay? Now, all of these constellations are part of this sign, okay? Okay. I would never have found this if it wasn't for Patrick at Hourly Watch finding the child. And then I found Raimonda because of 1450 that Paul was talking about uh, using the Strong's numbers. And when I traced them together, it brought me to this moment, okay? Which, again, Dr. Barry was really looking at heavily back in 2021. And I was looking at heavily as well. These seven constellations, okay? And so you go... All right, so we got seven constellations, big deal. Well, in each of these constellations, we have Mars, Venus, Mercury, Uranus, Jupiter, Saturn, Moon. Full moon, by the way. This, these are seven crowns. You probably know where I'm going with this. So, as I said, a crab's claws are horns. We got two, four, six, eight, ten horns, because we got Sagittarius, we got Capricorn, we got Aries, Taurus, and yes, Cancer, the head with the wings because Mars, red planet, red dragon with wings, with the horns, and with all these other horns, and with all these crowns. And you go, what about the heads, Will? 
Sagittarius 1, Capricorn 2, Aquarius 3, Aries 4, Taurus 5. There is no head on a crab. Two in Gemini. There's your seven heads. This is Revelation 12, 3. I'm going to read it for you. It checks off every single box. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. That is this moment. And you go, well, okay, so so what are you trying to say, Will? Well, even going back to Matt Wackdoodle Samoan, who also i got to give a shout out and credit to as well, he knows, I haven't really talked about it on the channel, but he and Kevin and several others know that I've been I've been going, look, we should see the second sign. Everyone talks about the first Revelation 12 sign. This The second sign, we need to see it. And then the comet Nishimura that Bob and Aaron and Patrick have all been talking about. When I saw that, I realized that is symbolizing. That is the type and shadow of the child being caught up. So if we're about to see the child be caught up, then this second wonder definitely had to take place before then. And so that, coupled with the fact of the child asteroid and then the Raimonda asteroid and then all of the other knowledge and, and words of wisdom and knowledge we'd been given is what led me to this moment. Okay, um, let me keep going for a second. Um, again, this is the actual moment in the stars. You can see it there. Kevin actually sent me a better screenshot. It's coming up in a second where you can see all of it. We talked about the horns. Yeah, this is the one from Kevin. So you can see here, um, you still can't see it all, but we got Mars, Venus, Mercury, Uranus is right here. It's not on his screenshot, but it's right there. Jupiter's here, Saturn's here, the full moon is here. Okay, so we have, those are the seven crowns. Then we have two horns on Ca on Cancer. We've got two horns on Taurus, two horns on Aries, two horns on Capricorn, two horns on um, Sagittarius. There's your ten horns, okay? And then the heads, as I already talked about, we got the seven heads, two of them coming from Gemini, because all of these planets and the moon are in these constellations, okay? This is your Revelation 12, 3, second wonder that happened on Shavuot, June 24th, 2021. Um, continuing on, this is what Kevin drew, which is awesome because it really shows that moment. Um, and by the way, when I say June 24th, I'm talking about, I, I'm looking at it from Jerusalem. So this, even though it says June 23rd here, fear not, it's the same. And Mars is there for a few days anyway. Um, so this is Mars with the horns, and this is Mars with the wings, talking about that winged planet. Um, and then this is Kevin's that he uh, put together after we, after because I, I I read all of this by him last night. It was I, I've been I've been marin marinating on this for several days, and obviously weeks and months and years. Is, you know, it's been piece by piece put together by the Holy Spirit. But this is his. And by the way, Manjetsu, I, I believe if I'm not mistaken, it means full moon and maybe Japanese. Don't quote me on that though. He, he'll tell you. But anyway, um, this was this was from his dream, his dream of the menorah. Oh yes, the menorah. I didn't talk about the menorah. So yeah. He had a dream where um, the reason I drew this menorah on here is because he saw a menorah and he saw a what he thought was a red blood moon when it was actually now realizing it was Mars. And on the other side was the full moon. And then right here in the middle, what's amazing is we have the child in Raimonda. So, um, yeah, this was his his um, we got the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This was his menorah dream. So, again, this is the. This isn't even a culmination of my own dreams. It's it's other people's dreams too. So <coughs> the Holy Spirit is amazing. Praise to you, Holy Spirit. Praise to you, Father in heaven. Praise to you, King of King and Lord of King of Kings and Lord of Lords, King Jesus. All glory, all honor, all thanks, all praise to you. Um, this I, I hope this is blessing you as much as it blessed me, um, brothers and sisters. Here, let me just go ahead and I'll come in here for the last couple seconds here. So. Um, again, pray about this. Please share this out because, um, I really think that, you know, all of the work that the Watchmen are doing, it's for the tribulation saints for us now, but also mainly, I think for the tribulation saints, so they can see the breadcrumbs of where we're going, how, we're, when we disappear, they'll know what happened and they can go see all of this and see that we've been shouting from the rooftops for years now. Um, so yeah, share this out. And, and, and the other thing too, is that, you know, if those of you who've been saying like, well, we got to see the second great wonder in the skies. Here it is. It happened. We are going home any day now, like very soon. So um, thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, I don't want to say too much more. 
uh, I, I just, um, again, pray about this. Please add your comments because I know, just like with Patrick finding the child asteroid and every other thing, all the Dr. Berry studies, what it does is it iron sharpens iron with other watchmen, right? We're all going to, it's going to unlock huge revelations. I don't doubt it. So please share them in the comments. Sh uh, share your comments of your discoveries and the things the Holy Spirit shows you. Share this out to other, please, if, if someone can contact Patrick or Bob Barber or whoever and like send this to them so they can see it, so they can get it on their channels and and we can all just edify one another. That I mean, that's what the Holy Spirit's all about here, guys, especially with the body here. We are to encourage one another, one another all the more as we see the day approaching and we see the day approaching. Amen. So, as we always say on this channel, and all that we say and do, may the Lord Jesus be magnified. God bless you, brothers and sisters.